Today I wanted to go through the resume that got me my two job offers straight after finishing uni. During my final year of university, I developed a growing fear that I wouldn't be able to find work after I graduated. I would think things like, I've spent so much time and money on university, what if nobody will hire me? Biomedical engineering is a fairly niche degree compared to something like mechanical or electrical engineering. Maybe there aren't that many jobs out there. On the one hand, maybe this anxiety was a good thing because it made me apply for a lot of jobs in my final year. I must have completed at least a hundred job applications. I got ghosted by most of them. I had probably five job interviews and in the end I got two job offers. I thought it might be interesting to show the resume that got me the offers. First I should probably show you the job offers so you know that I'm not bullshitting. This one is as an electronics design engineer at a small company with 20 employees for three days a week at $40.44 an hour. And this next one is the position that I accepted. It's a full-time graduate engineer program at a much bigger company for $71,175 total compensation. That's a little bit of a lower hourly rate, around $33 an hour, but it's a better company and full-time, so I took it. That might have been a mistake, but I think the second job offer was a better growth opportunity for me, so hopefully I'll be better off in the long run. Both companies do contract development and manufacturing of medical devices. The, the beeps you're hearing are real-time signals from the neural link in Gertrude's head. Alright, this is the resume. It's not amazing to look at, but I'm an engineer, not a graphic designer. So, just broadly, I've got personal information up top, then a couple lines explaining who I am and what I'm looking for, education, technical skills, the most important part, description of some of the projects I've worked on, then work history and awards. I think the best way to proceed will be to just go through it section by section, and you can leave any questions in the comments below, and I'll do my best to get back to them. Okay, personal info. I think this section's self-explanatory. I just put my name, email, phone number, and GitHub. Probably should have put my LinkedIn too, so that they could find me there. In hindsight, the GitHub was probably unnecessary. Oh well. Next. Next we have a short personal statement. The reason I put in a personal statement is so that the person reading my resume can quickly see if the company's goals and my goals are aligned. Another thing is that I would tweak this part to suit the job that I was applying for. Mine says, I am interested in the development of tools and products that improve quality of life. I'm a proponent of lifelong learning and love learning new technologies and skills. I have strong written and verbal communication as well as technical ability. I was applying to development roles at engineering consultancies in the medical field, so I tried to make this statement relevant to that. This part is about development, this part is about medical, and an engineering role at a consultancy will probably have a client-facing element, so communication skills are important. I put the education section at the top so that they can quickly see that I have the required degree. It was a prerequisite to have an engineering degree for a lot of the jobs I was applying to, so I just wanted to make it super obvious that, yes, I met the criteria. Next is the technical skills section. This part is sloppy. The intent here was to write down some commonly used industry software that I had experience with, so that if they used it in their workplace, they'd see that I don't need as much training as some of the other candidates, and that way I'd have a leg up on the competition. Something I would do is, if I saw software mentioned in the job listing that I wasn't familiar with, I'd just add it to this section anyway. Then I'd take an online course in it in the next few days while progressing through the application process. It's probably frowned upon to do this, but hey, I needed a job. This next section is the most important part of the resume. This is where I wrote about some of the projects I've done. 
When I got to the interview stage, these are the things that they wanted to talk about. Like, a really stupid thing that just makes no sense I would see in a ton of job listings is that they'd want someone entry level with a few years experience. So this is how you can kind of address that criteria. You can write about projects you did as part of your degree or just personal projects you've been working on. Because we're fresh university graduates, we don't have a ton of work experience. This is a good way to show that you have relevant experience even if you haven't had a job in the field before. The first one is my capstone project, user interface development for a wireless neural recorder. This was primarily a software engineering project. Second is the project that I worked on during my internship, a novel craniofacial implant for mechanical retention of facial prosthesis. This was mainly a mechanical engineering based project with some bio sprinkled in, in the form of using biocompatible materials. And two other projects from earlier in my degree that were a mix of mechanical and electronics. Yeah, this part of my resume was definitely the main talking points for my interviews. The next section is my previous work experience. Now, since I don't really have much relevant industry experience, the main purpose of this section is just to show that I'm not an insane person. Basically, I want them to see that other people have been willing to hire me before, even if it's not in the same field. Then finally awards. This is where I put anything that could possibly be construed as an award or accolade that I've received. The golden key one I just lucked out towards the start of my biomedical engineering degree. Before the classes got really hard I put in a lot of effort and was able to get good enough grades to qualify. I think the criteria was top 15% of the cohort or something like that. This second one's kind of made up. What actually happened was at the expo, one of the industry judges said that our project was their favorite, so I just took that and ran with it. And the final one is legit. I somehow got top five for my capstone project. I put in a ton of effort to that project, so super happy with that result. So yeah, that's the resume. Nothing super special about it. There's a few cool things and a few cases where maybe I stretched the truth a little bit. My advice for anyone still in university or anyone looking for their first real job would be to focus on doing a lot of cool projects where you can develop new skills and try to get internships if you can. Lastly, if anyone else has resume tips, leave a comment. Love to hear your perspective. Or if you have any feedback on my resume, I'd also love to hear that. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Thank you.